Ashley was adventurous. She was loving. She was kind. She always wanted to travel, and she did travel. An outpouring of grief in Vernon over the death of a North Okanagan teen who had recently gone to the United Kingdom. Ashley Wadsworth's boyfriend, 23-year-old Jack Seppel, has been charged with murder in connection with her death. We're dealing with it the way we usually deal with it, and that's just being together and surrounding each other with love and um, family, and that's how we cope as a family. Melissa Locke says her cousin wanted to see the world. I don't want this to scare people from traveling and being themselves and being adventurous because that, that's who she was and I just, I don't want it to scare people. Essex police say they were called to an address in Chelmsford, about 60 kilometers outside of London, for a disturbance on Tuesday afternoon. 19-year-old Wadsworth was declared dead at the scene. The news devastating to those who knew Ashley back in Canada. I remember that she's just a lovely person and polite to everyone. Um, what would to describe her? She is very genuine, caring, honest, and a funny friend. Kyla Dizon says her friend was one of the nicest and most down-to-earth people. I just want everyone to know that Ashley was such a nice person. She deserved everything and she didn't uh, deserve what had happened to her. Wadsworth posted on social media that she had gone to the UK in November. Her death has also shaken the wider Vernon community. Vernon is the kind of community that any loss is a loss to the entire community. So, I mean, that's where <laughs> my heart first goes. She was young. Her life was just starting and to end in such a tragic way and overseas is really like just tragic. The Archway Society for Domestic Peace, which works to combat domestic violence in the North Okanagan, says if Vernon residents are experiencing abuse while out of the country, they can still call. Honestly, if somebody is in another country and they're thinking, okay, there's something going on here that I'm not comfortable with, yeah, definitely call us and we'll connect them with somebody there some way, somehow, because um, any call to reach out for help is a good call. Seppel is scheduled to be back in court in the UK on Friday, and people here in Vernon will likely be following closely how that case unfolds. Megan Turcato, Global News, Vernon.